What's going on guys, I quickly wanted to share an interesting observation I've made, a minute but powerful gripping technique tool regarding pockets, especially shallow three finger pockets, which helped me a lot to get one of my harder home wall projects done recently, probably also works for two finger pockets, but that remains to be proven by practice. A little context before we go into detail, when it comes to setting a training wall, one goal is gripping technique diversity, which is not necessarily the same as hold diversity, although it of course requires requires hold diversity. I will talk about setting training walls in a separate video as it's a frequently asked question and a quite interesting topic. Anyway, it turns out that forcing open grips like the three fingers open through setting is quite challenging. They require open holds like slopers or pockets, but even slopers and pockets can often be crimped and thereby disarmed, so to speak. When it comes to self-making wooden climbing holds, there's some which are a lot easier to make than others. Edges and pinches are easy, while jugs, slopers and finger pockets require more tools, sanding time, etc. So my training wall filled up with edges and pinches very quickly, while other holds lagged behind, leading to a very half crimpy, pinchy wall. As you know, I avoid full crimping when training. This is a psychological barrier I have put up because of training stimulus and injury prevention as I discussed previously. It's not forced by hold shapes though, and which would be the gold standard from the setter's perspective. You could say, well, if you want to train open grips, why not simply put up another mental barrier and grab all those edges openly? Nobody forces you to half crimp either. The problem is that for me, as long as injury prevention is covered, sooner or later the problem of wanting to sand kicks in, and if it's not prevented by hold shape, I will at least half crimp the juice out of anything to get to the top, as we will see. Which is why I, as the setter of my home wall, must force open grips with hold shapes, and one way to do this is pockets, because there the thumb has no easy access to the edge, making only open grips possible or very aggressive full crimping, which is, as I said, excluded. So I made two three finger pockets to start combating my half crimpy pinchy wall, very shallow to ensure craftability with limited tools, they're only 18mm deep, slightly in-cut and with big rounding so that they are skin sparing. Keeping in mind that they would go on a 43 degree overhang, I knew these would be tough, perfect for training that open grip max strength. As you can see I set them in such a way that an only pocket problem would emerge, of course I also tried it, it turned out super hard as expected. Out of the three moves I could do only the first one which was a rather easy pull from the starting jug into the first finger pocket with left, then came the pocket pulls on which I had no chance not even as a single move. I grabbed everything three fingers openly as I expected it to be the most efficient solution and thought well I did close to zero open gripping recently so I might just have to get used to it in terms of intramuscular coordination and stuff. In the meantime I would give the problem a rough grade of 8A plus or V12 Yankee Doodle. Two more sessions elapsed and I still couldn't do one of the pocket pulls as a single move so I decided to create an easier problem for practicing involving only one pocket but otherwise quite similar moves. I could get this one done in one session, still gripping openly, I went for 7C plus V9 in terms of grading, however while projecting this easier version I noticed something. Doing lots of half crimping during this session as well, I quite naturally started to grab the three finger pocket in a slightly more crimped way. The difference to the three fingers open being that not only the middle finger but also index and ring finger would be slightly bent. It turned out that this slight difference in gripping technique made a huge difference in holding performance to me. I tried the easier pocket problem again and ended up with a downgrade from 7C plus to 7B plus V7. Okay, I thought, wow, what if I pull out this weapon again? against the hard version. I could send it in the same session after a handful of tries, leading to a downgrade to 7C plus V9 from the previously estimated 8A plus. So essentially this minute change in grip form caused a downgrade of two grades, while not compromising injury risk in any noticeable way. In fact, I had the impression that this grip, maybe we could call it the three fingers half crimp or something, felt more ergonomic than the three fingers open on those shallow pockets. I want to point out a couple of details on why this could be the case. Firstly, the hook form that is created by bending all involved fingers allows for a better transfer of the holding force towards the fingertips and therefore into the interior of the pocket, where it requires less friction for holding than on the exterior rounding, causing less slipping. This mechanism is the main explanation for why 
like crimping anything that is smooth and has little friction is often superior to grabbing it openly. Secondly, something interesting happens to the thumb and pinky as well when bending all holding fingers. They come together and form a quite compact and ergonomic shape as if they would grab onto something as well and this has a positive impact on the holding power of the holding fingers. And on the poor three fingers open, thumb and pinky are rather passive. Finally, and this is often overlooked, when moving upwards, which is something we quite often do when climbing, right, a more crimped grip in the pulling hand will keep more holding force compared to open grips when the center of gravity moves up, which can prevent those annoying slip-offs, which sometimes occur in the lower hand when you actually already stuck the move. The crimp will also give you more reach upwards. It's not a lot, but it's significant and can make the deciding difference on a reachy limit move. In my pocket problem here, I could feel all of these advantages in action which led to a much quicker send and a massive downgrade unfortunately actually would have loved it if it turned out a little harder this makes me believe that the true three fingers open grip respectively two fingers open grip is actually most useful on deeper pockets where friction plays a greater role keep in mind that i'm not one of these open grip climbers who are stronger on anything openly I hope this adds a useful tool to your gripping technique toolbox. Drop a like if you've got something from the episode and let me know your experience with the subject down below. That's always appreciated. Keep crushing and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.